Published 1109 EDT, 19 September 2017 Updated 1110 EDT, 19 September 2017 As we continue to pump toxic greenhouse gases into our atmosphere, scientists are devising new and creative ways to curb climate change. As well as reducing our carbon dioxide emissions, scientists say we must also remove the gas from the air to keep Earth's temperature down. One expert has now suggested we stop global warming by dumping carbon dioxide into deep sea trenches, forming enormous liquid lakes. Scroll down for video an expert has picked out deep ocean trenches that could be used to store excess carbon dioxide. Basins A, B and C in this image show spots within the Sunda Trench, south of the Indonesian archipelago, that are good candidates for storage at more than 6 kilometers deep An energy analyst has suggested we could store carbon dioxide in deep ocean trenches. The compound would form permanent, liquid lakes, he claims. Once carbon dioxide reaches a depth of 3,000 meters 9,850 feet it is denser than water. At these depths, the gas will naturally sink to the bottom of the trench. Mr. Goldtharp said the stored carbon dioxide could become solid over time, which would stop it mixing with ocean currents. Steve Goldthorpe, an independent energy analyst based in Waipu, New Zealand, claims the lakes could permanently hold vast quantities of carbon dioxide. This is because once the gas reaches a depth of 3,000 meters 9,850 feet it is denser than water, meaning it naturally sinks to the seafloor. If liquid CO2 were to be placed in such a trench, it would be 7% more dense than seawater and could remain permanently as a lake of liquid CO2 on the ocean floor, Mr. Goldthorpe wrote in his paper. Mr. Goldthorpe said the stored carbon dioxide could become solid over time, which would stop it mixing with ocean currents. During his research, the energy analyst used Google Earth to identify suitable sites for storage. He came across a deep ocean trench around 6 kilometers 3.7 miles down called the Sunda Trench, just south of the Indonesian archipelago. It is big enough to accommodate 19 trillion tons of liquid CO2, which is greater than all the CO2 from the total global fossil fuel emissions, he told New Scientist. Mr. Goldtharp also suggested the Japanese Ryukyu Trench and the Puerto Rico Trench as candidates each is more than 6 kilometers 3.7 miles deep. At certain depths in the ocean, a critical point center black spot in pressure and temperature means that carbon dioxide becomes a liquid instead of a gas. Several spots in the Sunda Trench could be used to store carbon dioxide. This is because once carbon dioxide reaches a depth of 3,000 meters 9,850 feet it is denser than water, meaning it naturally sinks to the seafloor. The trenches could help keep Earth's temperature at a safe level now agreed to be no more than 1.5 degrees centigrade 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit above average pre-industrial time temperatures. Previously experts have suggested burying excess carbon dioxide deep underground, possibly in depleted oil and gas fields. While preliminary tests have shown that this method has potential, scientists are still unsure whether people would accept the fix. The trenches could help keep Earth's temperature at a safe level now agreed to be no more than 1.5 degrees centigrade 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit above average pre-industrial time temperatures. Reducing the levels of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere will be key to reaching this goal. Carbon dioxide lakes do form naturally in the cold, high-pressure depths of the ocean. But they are rare. Researchers have previously dismissed the idea of ocean CO2 storage because it can make the water more acidic, which may impact marine ecosystems. Mr. Goldtharp recognizes this as his paper, writing any impact on deep marine fauna would need to be investigated.